And as you can see, they have tabaco, they have rum, they have cerveza. <laughs> okay, guys, so this is the pool area. It's a very pretty fancy girl here yesterday. Let's see where they are today. <laughs> Beautiful day today. We're gonna look forward to swimming a little later in the afternoon as soon as the water warms up a little bit. Uh, but yesterday there was huge waves. It was like that LA style surf. Today there's a little bit of waves. It looks quite calm. There's a bunch of little kids swimming in there too. It looks pretty cool. It's nice and warm. The wind is not too crazy yesterday. 40 kilometer an hour winds. Today there's just nice gusts. Check it out. Yesterday we were right by where, you see where those birds are on the rocks? We were pretty much right there swimming up with them. It's a lot of fun. Okay guys, so now we're headed to change some money and then we're going to the Habana shop. Let's go. <laughs> the plaza where the cigar shop is is all the way over there. Way over there. There's those roofs there. So pretty much we're supposed to actually take the road and the confident that we'll make it. It'll be a nice experience rather than walk around in you know, the hot tarmac outside. Yeah. So onwards. We have come to the crossroads. The trail is right in front of us. So we're looking for an adventure. We're prepared. Maybe there's some pretty native bitches in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how the place looks. I think I see civilization ahead of us. Hopefully we don't wander into the back of some dude's house or something. <laughs> if we do, hopefully this pretty wife is at the pool. <laughs> We're in Nada. <laughs> hey lady, we're the pool boys. <laughs> this is how beer grows. Check it out. This is how they harvest beers in Cuba. They grow right on the ground. I always thought they were tree fruit, but I guess they grow from the ground like Cuba is like potatoes. Kind of makes sense. Maybe we'll see some cigars growing somewhere. <laughs> what is this one? The cotton tree over there. That's awesome. Not bad. Another coffee tree right up there. There's another can of beer growing. Solar panels. Oh guys, there might be some haters behind us. <laughs> See them approaching. Quiet. <laughs> you see that? Baby natives. <laughs> natives are pretty big. <laughs> they speak Spanish and wear nice clothes. <laughs> it's, a, it's a red soil that tobacco grows very nicely in. Same with tea or coffee. This is what we have in Africa. East Africa, they've got this red soil, it's very rich, volcanic style soil that grows everything. Hola. 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 Yeah, it's this way. Si. This way in red. We've got a nice plaza here, some cool music and stuff. We're going to have a look at some nice curios and stuff. <laughs> this is from that canned fruit that grows. <laughs> Beer fruit. Look at this. Some more think it's made of the beer fruit. 
for a camera. <laughs> Another example. <laughs> Oh, where have you been, Pegasus? Pegasus has been chilling in Cuba. <laughs> He's trying to dry it out. You want some beer, Pegasus? <laughs> oh, it's never getting old. Very, very offensive. <laughs> call our people natives and act like they do not know civilization. <laughs> the trading post where all the people come to trade with the natives and as you can see they have tobacco they have rum they have cerveza they have coffee and the salon for smoking salon para fumador we're gonna head in a few minutes just uh chilling here for a few minutes because this place is epic i mean we've got the beautiful view of the ocean and stuff we've got some cool songs on here so youtube probably gonna get all hissy pity about it but <laughs> What do you do, man? I just bought sushi from Japan. <laughs> I just bought cigars from Cuba, man. <laughs> nice. Check out the beach. I'm used to smoking a lot of those, you know, the Cohibas and the Oye de Monterey's and Bolivars and those cigars that are Romeo Julietas. But I'm curious to see what they have in here. Hopefully we pick up something totally different that we've never seen and we do a review in there for you guys. Um, really beautiful out here. We might continue the review outside, but the interesting thing about this place is there's a smoking lounge in there. So let's see how it goes guys. Check out their humidor and see what they have. Let's go. Hello. Hola. No picture? Two minutes? One minute. Okay. They don't want us recording in here. It's a high pressure okay. situation. They brought some nice cigars, so we're going to pick up something. Okay. And uh, I'll come on and let you guys know what we have. <laughs> so we picked up these two. This is. Some of the people on the channel have been asking me to do Monte Cristo reviews, so I picked up the Monte Cristo of Mundo. And this right here is Coaba Distinguidos. I love the format of it. It's a nice, beautiful, dark wrapper. I'm really looking forward to trying this one. This, I know, this is one of the classic cigars that are out there. I've smoked them a few times. I really like them. They're nice. What you'd expect from Monte Cristo. So, we're going to cut them up. We're going to get lit. And we're going to smoke. Let's see it a few. Thank you. A lighter and a cutter. I just want to smoke here. Yeah, I bring it back in two minutes. The generous ladies uh, lent me a cutter and a lighter. Now. Only thing to do is to choose which one I'm going to smoke first. So, mini mold and mini 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 mold get the tiger by his toe. The hollow seven go mini 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 mold. Distinguidos. Yes, exactly what I wanted to smoke. So, I'm going to. You guys can watch me cut this. A little wet, but that's nice. I don't cut these how other people cut them. They like to cut them at an angle. Because I don't have a cutter, so I'm going to pre-cut this one for a little later. 
This is how you cut a cigar. You don't want to take too much off. See a lot of people cut them down to here, but that's a bit much. This way, you keep the cap on there, it doesn't unravel, it gives you a nice draw. I cut this distinguished duel, it's a little bit different than people usually cut them. Some people like to cut them in an angle. I like things to look symmetrical, I like to draw this way. Uh, I feel it gets a little less saliva on it too, so I like to just cut it straight. Much smaller hole. Um, let's prepare. Now that's one beautiful luxurious smoke. Beautiful cigar. I just love the quality of the wrapper and the design, the shape of it. One of those classic looking cigars. Just have a look at the quality. Nice simple label. It's not embossed or anything. Well, it slightly is embossed right here where they have these, these leaves and these signs right there. Very nice, beautiful format, beautiful size. Smelled amazing when I picked it up and cut it. Even after lighting it, the aroma that's coming off of it is very, very pleasant. It's rich, luxurious tobacco. <laughs> beautiful, luxurious, generous smoke output from this. Beautiful draw. And I'm not cut it very wide. I'm still getting a very nice draw. This one was a little bit wet coming out of the humidor, but I like it. It's actually adding to a little bit of the flavors a little bit more. It's coating the mouth a little nicely. It might be a slight struggle to keep it lit. I have to keep on taking little puffs from it a little sooner than I'd naturally like. But it doesn't seem to be heating up too much, so it's nice. So right off the bat, flavor profile, what am I getting? Well, there's a very nice, luxurious, creamy, coffee-ish, kind of tea-ish quality that it has in there with some very, very high-quality tobacco, roasted tobacco. It's definitely a very smooth cigar. I don't get any harsh notes whatsoever in this. It's very, very nice. Very classic looking, too. Makes you feel like dancing. <laughs> very impressed, very nice and smooth. Beautiful cigar. Pretty much those flavor profiles that I noted earlier. I don't see any change so far, but there's definitely gonna be some exciting transitions I'm looking forward to. Bless. <laughs> I love the way the wrapper is so dark, beautiful looking. Some nice veins and stuff in there. They're very finesse though, very smooth, they're not, they don't look cheap at all, they look really good quality, the burn so far has been excellent. So let's see where this goes, I'm going to come back a little later and let you guys know. Come along. Um, first third, what am I getting? Well, very very beautiful luxurious smoke. Smoke up has been fabulous so far, nice plumes of smoke, beautiful flavor. Flavor wise, what am I getting? Right off the bat, I get a nice blast of like co coffee, roasted tobacco, a little bit of tea flavor. Uh, very, very luxurious, no bitter bitterness whatsoever, no bitter profiles in there. Uh, I don't get any spices, I get a slight bit of sweetness. Very, very nice smoke so far. I'm gonna smoke it down a little bit more and I'm gonna come back and let you guys know exactly what I think of it. Um, beautiful day out here I mean, the beach is right behind me we're gonna go walk around there have some fun um, I'll come back to you guys let you know exactly how this is going 
Until then, see you guys. Hey guys, I smell popcorn over there. Beach popcorn. I think I'm gonna go get some. Sorry, English only, bro. I look Spanish, but no Spanish. But you really like Cuban? Nah, everyone you says Cuban, like Cuban face, yeah. One for you? Yes, please, just one. Thank you, bro. Hola, amiga. How are you? ¿Cómo están? Good, good. Good. You want, if you want it good, I'm good. <laughs> just with salt my friend thank you salt. perfect yeah salt <laughs> a little bit uh medium a little extra yeah like a cuban the cuban people eat popcorn corn with, with salt. a lot of salt a lot of salt then make it the cuban way then <laughs> more? More? bam yeah like a cuban <laughs> with rum <laughs> are you friends my brother my brother yeah, yeah. Yes, enjoying. Thank you, bro. Of course, my friend, not the best, but it's good. <laughs> welcome to Cuba. Thank you, brother. The first time? Thank no, you. no, like fifth time. But first time, Kyle Santa Maria. Okay. Always very there. Thank you for buying my points. <laughs> no problem, man. Thank good. you, bro. Good day for you. you. Bye, too. Hola. Okay. One peso. One peso. Guys, yeah. okay, so we picked up some popcorn. <laughs> Funny thing is, back in the 1930s, when my grandfather used to go to East Africa on safari, he used to always tell me that in Mombasa, which is on the coast of Kenya. He used to pick up popcorn for one cent. Back in the day, it was beach popcorn like this, but he said they used to make it with sand. They'd heat it up in a hot pot, cook up the sand, and make it there. But he, he said they used to be the size of ping pong balls like that. <laughs> so, this brother just made some popcorn for us, and he said he's gonna make it the Cuban way with a hell of a lot of salt. So, I'm looking forward to it. Check it out. Cool bag, right? A little taste test. Mmm, <laughs> damn good. Yo, brother, very nice. Very nice. Thank Not you. the best, but it's the best in this, in this island, place. In this uh, Cayo Santa Maria. Cayo right? Santa Maria. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> Santa Maria. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you. Yes. Peace, Thank man. You. Ciao. So we're back, uh, coming to the end of the second third. Flavor wise, what am I getting? Well, so far from the beginning until now, the cigar's been a medium-bodied cigar through and through. Only transition I find is that from that tea and the co uh, coffee-ish kind of flavor that came off the beginning, the roasted tobacco, there's a nice addition of chocolate and some pepper right on the tip of the tongue. You can feel a little bit of that pepperiness. pepperiness. I'm also getting a little bit of nuts that kind of goes in and out. You don't get it every time, but it's there. Very, very pleasurable. Beautiful smoke. Uh, I'd highly recommend the smoke. Anyone out there is looking for a a very nice format, beautiful looking cigar. Looks very special, so for a special occasion or something like that. Medium bodied, nice aroma that comes off of it. Uh, beautiful wrapper, beautiful construction. I highly recommend this Kuaba Distinguidos. Very, very nice cigar. I think I'm gonna call it a day for the reviews right now. We're just gonna go party and hang out. Popcorn was great, nice addition. This goes really well with popcorn. machine just went flying across the, the way with the wind but I'm gonna leave you guys with that you guys have a great day I'm gonna have an awesome day and hopefully find some pretty girls to hang out with I uh, hope you guys do too <laughs> see you guys soon cheers peace peace <laughs> it's an epic spot to smoke a cigar in the distance I see some dudes in the water fishing check it out